everybody and welcome back to our playthrough of the final season of The Walking Dead. Hmm, can't go this way. Where's that music coming from? Now, wherever it's coming from, it's very loud. What's up here? Ah, you little motherfucker! Who's that? Hey! Hey! Uh, about time you woke up! Your little boy just bit me! He's lucky I didn't boot to his head! Nearly took a chunk out of me. I'm so sorry. He acts out sometimes. He's been through a lot. Yeah, well, ain't we all? Don't see any of us sinking our teeth into either of you. We need to learn some respect. Oh dear. for you my name is AJ excuse me thanks I appreciate it no problem well not no problem he was a bit of a handful what the heck is going on with this like he's not even playing the music full blast like two dead to zero is that still gonna go off but I got off. yeah it's just really that's really bad sound wise so you guys can see real time i'm showing you right now as i'm recording i'm not editing it out i'm showing you like um, compared to what ruby went through aj doesn't like people coming up behind him don't ever do it loud and clear little man thankfully i was here to calm him down with my alluring music please don't play again it's too loud i'm lewis clementine yeah, totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry, I've got it. Now, 
press this one. And this one. I, you're a natural. Hey. You seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. We've got a bit of a situation out there. <clears throat> to ask, you're just coming to it all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? They've really messed up with the sound on this. The music's way too loud. And I've turned it down, it's still the same. Look, there's nobody even playing it and the sound's going off. That was annoying, I'm sorry, but that really was. God, it was tough to get through. They didn't have to make it that loud. And the fact that they... There's only two volume... Bot, um, there's only two volume settings. Master and the sound. Rosie! Where the hell is she? You give her her weapon back? Good. We're gonna need you to put it to use. We've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside. We need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Bye. What? Just saying. Look. I didn't know any of that was going to happen. Sorry if it caused you guys problems. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. Run, let me help. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. Yeah, you're safer over there, mate. Yeah, we're gonna use our knife. circle. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, for God's sake. I pressed circle. I'll press triangle then. I'll press triangle and see if that works. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. This should be fun. I know, monsters. That's one. What? Oh, okay, this is this is a bit difficult actually. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. There's two of them together. So, I'm going to have to be really careful here. Everybody else is fighting one. Why are we going after two? I oh, know, I know, kids. Two of them. Put them right for me. Here we go. Wow. Nice work, Clementine. Could use a little more finesse, though. Watch and learn. Hey, over here. Follow me. What's he gonna do? Oh, come off it. And that's how you school a walker. There's a whole bunch of traps laying around this area for these ass hats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. Kaboom. 
I'm not going to get that one, so I'm going to have to stun this one. Oh, come on, I got him. I got that one. Oh, shoot, another one. Get another one, another one. Circle. Try and go. Quick, 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 Oh, shit. Be a monster. Right in your neck. Freak. Jeez. Hunting party. Oh, that's sick. Okay, 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 okay. Circle. Oh, come on, I got him. And there's two of them as well. Bull crap. That's bull crap. Looks like they made it back in one piece. Come on, meet him halfway. Jeez, this is difficult. Okay, get rid of this one. How far can I run? Okay, no, there's too many of them there. Do, 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 Get rid of that. Okay, that get rid of that one. Glitched in it. Go over here. Nice Jeez. timing. We're not going to be able to hold them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. You know, you're not half bad considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. Sorry. Hey, see so you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog wines. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right, fun's over. Let's get inside. Ah, fucking starving. You're not the only one. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, a sim. Safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. I know. You're both delusional.
They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Boots. <sighs> EJ. What the hell? <sighs> So sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. <laughs> He's a jumpy little guy. You gonna be okay? He can't go around punching people in the. I don't want to expect him to eat at the same table. <laughs> I'll talk to him. Hey. He's gotta stop attacking him. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. So, we should talk about what just happened. It was an accident. I know. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you. But we should go talk to them. But... But I don't think they like me. I can just tell. Well, let's try not hitting them for a start. Or biting. He snuck up on me. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. <sighs> so we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Her page, hey, my friend. Right, who are we going to get talk to first? Let's go talk to this one who we beat. You've got to apologise to this one first. There's that girl I bit. Yeah, want to talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. Oh, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty, and your apology. I did it! You sure did. Oh, I just sit by the fire with her. I learned to be friends with people. What's over here? This kid's over here, you know. Let's go and speak to these. Hey guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins lost them both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? Yeah. I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. I'm trying to see where all the kids are so I can talk to all of them. Okay, go over here. I don't want to speak to them yet. I'm going to speak to them last. Look at flagpole. I'm not sure anyone would pledge to that. 
We've got kids over here to get speak to these. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You want to see something cool? I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Fuck up monsters, yeah. <laughs> Little dude said, fuck. <laughs> yeah, he's making friends. Mm, yes. Hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. See, they, they're more ready, cool. Now it's him. He's the one that seems to be having a bit of a problem with the leader. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt. Which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the... Hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. Yeah, best not to make any enemies just yet. Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. He's still trying to read it. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. Yeah, he is pretty sweet. Not everybody sees that. I won't pay them no mind if you won't. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Well, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Where were you sitting? Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mm, this is really good. Mm. Oh, come on. Uh. Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Um, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. No. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. Oh. 
I'm all done. Eat, mm -hmm. load. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's doing? What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. The game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Get ready, losers, because it's time for you all to lose. Oh, shit. I like that. Bold talk. Uh uh. True talk. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Okay. Wait, what about AJ? Where's he gone? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Oh. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Oh. Oh, crap. She gets to ask a question first. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <sighs> For the most part. That's your one question. Who are we going to ask hey, a question to? I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Worst injury witness, Marlon's haircut. Met anyone famous? Gross is thinking, Marlon's haircut. What's up with your haircut, Marlon? Oh boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means it looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. <laughs> Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? No, they did like, they liked each other. I you'd call them. But I had some sort of feelings for him. Maybe not exactly love, but something. Ah, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Lee. Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to say goodbye. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. I saw this guy get his face beaten in with a crowbar. Badly. There wasn't even any skin left. Ouch. Mm, he deserved it. Victory okay. Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. 
Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? Oh my god. That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. So have we. You asked the question. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Yeah, my friend Kenny. What happened? What, like, led up to it? His heart broke and never put itself back together. Believe me, I did him a favor. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. <laughs> you guys relax, get some sleep, feel human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. Only way out? Yep. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. She was. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh, what? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. Too it's bad. okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. You see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. 
It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Well, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool, too, up there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? Oh. For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? No way. We can actually uh, decorate AJ? the room. Is he gone? He's hiding under the bed. Is he living under the bed? Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man. This bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? Nobody's gonna come in. Trust me. That girl just came in. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. Oh, my God, kid. Hey, Just rest. what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. Hmm. This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Oh, this music's gonna kick in again, really, really loud. Up here. And drown everything else Come out. On, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tintu. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. 
Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. What? No, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey. What the hell, IJ? Hey, you don't even know what they are. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It is it's his? No, it's, it's not, not yours? Oh, fine. Thanks. Why is AJ acting so bratty? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Why is he acting like that? What'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Louis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Oh, it's the dog. Uh-oh. Stay back. This dog's a... Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. Prove it. Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Let's trust him. Rosie. <sighs> okay. I guess. Get down on her level. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Oh, there you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. Oh. She's a big bloody dog, though, ain't she? Play me neck. <laughs> so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She is really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. When the world went to shit, he bailed. Oh. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Of course wow. I did. Well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Look at greenhouse, look at forest, old shack, train station. So look at train station. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. Get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. 
We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. Yeah, well, we stumbled off by accident, didn't we? The greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I... I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah? Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis... Uh, I just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Fish with Violet, yeah. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Skull map. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, we're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. So I don't know if those two choices are important enough. We get to do another one another day, but I wanted to help them. We could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. That sounds kind of nice. I love the open road. I wouldn't mind showing you around. Just as long as you're not the one driving. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas eventually. She's a dreamer. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted, if gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. I'd drive up one of those long roads that wind around the mountains. 
follow it all the way to the top. You could see over the whole world up there, I bet. Yeah. Get a nice view of the world while you die of frostbite. Sounds like the dream. Come on, Vi. Would it kill you to live a little? I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Where are those spears? Hey, about by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels? About me? Sure thing, Brody. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? Huh. <laughs> See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Oh dear. Right, before I look around everywhere, I am going to finish this video and will continue in the next one. It's getting very interesting, I'm really enjoying this, like a kind of open world sort of element that they've got to it where we get to explore on that. And I really do think that's going to be, it's going to open the game up a bit, I think it's really cool. Anyway, thank you all for watching guys, and until next time, take care.